What is time? This has been a question that we have asked since the concept of time was first realized. We may know formulas that give us a working definition of time, but these formulas ultimately tell us nothing. While time is not entirely understood for many in academia, the notion of time travel sits firmly in the realm of science fiction. Despite this, philosophy attempts to provide an answer of some kind as well as explore various aspects of time and time travel. These theories of time and time travel can be seen in many places in our media, ranging from books to video games to even movies. The indie smash hit, To the Moon, created by Freebird Games, utilizes a very specific theory of time travel. This theory of time being St. Augustine's theory as time is the tension of consciousness. Augustine's theory of time is quite different from the traditional idea of time. In his work, Confessions, Augustine indicates that we do not actually understand time. He states that we know time well enough, but if someone asks us to explain what time actually is, we cannot provide an adequate answer. In order to account for this idea, Augustine goes on a search for time. In this quest, Augustine finds to his horror that he can't locate time. He searches for the past, but it's already gone. He looks to the future, but it hasn't arrived yet. When Augustine begins to search for the present, he quickly realizes that he has to set a boundary since whatever we call the present moves too quickly to be located. To search for the present, Augustine used the idea of the century to represent the present. Even with this boundary, Augustine still finds an issue. Since the present bleeds into the future as well into the past, this leaves us with no present that someone can simply see. This notion leaves Augustine in a conundrum. As he cannot find any unit of time, it seems to indicate that no unit of time can be observable and the present simply cannot exist. So by this conclusion, the essence of time is to absent itself. Despite this being the only answer Augustine finds while looking for time, he doesn't want to believe it. And he knows time is something. Augustine knows with certainty that time has to be something because it can be measured. The time that someone takes to complete a game, like To The Moon, can range from a few minutes to a few hours. If time is not something, how can we measure these lengths of time? According to Augustine, to understand this problem, we must realize that time can only be truly understood with the mind. With this notion, Augustine answers all the initial problems that were recognized when he went in search of time. When mind and the memory is brought into the equation of time, an individual can realize that the past passes away, but the mind keeps it in memory. The future is not yet present, but the mind anticipates it. Finally, in regard to the present within the mind, the present now has a measurable duration with the use of memory and regression. For example, a middle-aged man smells a scent that his mother wore when he was a child. At this moment, according to Augustine, through our memory we experience a sort of temporal regression, which utilizes our minds to travel back in time. In regard to the present, the sensation of smelling his mother's perfume allows him to set boundaries for the present. The future in Augustine's theory relies on the process of expectation. This aforementioned expectation serves as a form of fortune telling that utilizes a fluid combination of prior memory and sensation to predict the future. Another example, your friend Amy leaves a glass at the edge of the table. Your friend Greg, who is known for being clumsy, walks into the room and edges dangerously close to the table. Based on the sensation of knowing where the table and cup are located and also utilizing the memory of Greg's clumsiness, you have an expectation of what could happen. These three different viewpoints of past, present, and future come together to showcase that, according to Augustine, time is the tension of consciousness. With the explanation out of the way, we shall use Augustine's theory of time as the lens through which we view to the moon's structure of time. To understand the time aspects to the moon, one must first understand the story that the time components weaves itself around. To the Moon focuses on two time ages from Sigmund Corp, Dr. Eva Rosaline and Dr. Neil Watts. At some unknown point in its timeline, Sigmund Corp creates and utilizes the technology that can create artificial memories. As the device creates a new memory, it causes a conflict with existing memories, creating sort of cognitive dissonance effect on the recipient. Because of the downsides of the device, it can only be utilized to provide a wish fulfillment service to people who are dying. In this world, it is only legal to use the device only if the recipient is on their deathbed. And it is at this moment where we are introduced to the main subject of the game, Johnny Wiles. Once the two doctors reach Johnny's bed, they find that his one wish was to go to the moon. Yet for the life of him, he could not recall why he wanted to go to the moon. From there, the time agent duo works back through Johnny's past with the use of the device and eventually reaches childhood. 
Augustine's theory of time is easily seen within the confines of To the Moon. The device the time agents use is essential to the connection. With Johnny on his deathbed, the device allows the ancients to travel back in time throughout his memories. The agents can only go back in time to significant memories of an individual's past. With the use of the device, the two agents travel a few years in the past at a time. At each stage in the past, the agents must find a significant sensation within each memory to piggyback off of that sensation and take them to the next significant memory of the timeline. As with the middle-aged man that smells the perfume that his mother used to wear, the time agents are transported back in time. The concept of time into the moon is not solely based on the measurement of the longness and shortness of time, it is intricately built into its very function. To the Moon attempts to not fall into any of the simple pitfalls that would cause to not support Augustine's theory of time. It allows itself to run continuously with the relationship between time, experience, and memory. Yet, one character at first glance seems to destroy the relation with her very presence, Johnny's wife, River Wiles. River is an interesting character in regards to memory. While it is never outright said, the evidence sprinkled throughout the game seems to indicate that River was suffering through Asperger's for her entire life. At one point in psychological academia, it was a common assumption to believe that individuals with Asperger's held a picture-perfect memory. This was relatively recently proven false. The opposite seems to be true, and more often than not, people with Asperger's have a statistically worse memory than those without the syndrome. Studies show that if an individual with Asperger's has an initial source of memory, they can have a memory level comparable to individuals without Asperger's. Harnessing these source memories, individuals with Asperger's can finally take part in Augustine's theory of time. These source memories, which for River seems to have started in childhood, are depicted throughout the events in-game. Johnny and River meet at a carnival when they are both young children. They took an immediate liking to one another and agreed that if they ever lost each other, they would meet on the moon. Before Johnny leaves, he gives River a platypus toy. This toy becomes significant because throughout the rest of her life, River cherishes this toy. The toy develops into an anchor as well as a significant memory for River. It quickly cements itself as a source memory in the fractured mind of River Wiles. A tragedy causes Johnny to forget a large part of his childhood, forgetting River in the process. A few years pass and River and Johnny meet again in junior high. River quickly realizes that Johnny has forgotten about her, and she regresses back to her state in the source memory. River's inability to simply tell Johnny about their promise due to her Asperger's, as well as her regression back to the primary source memory, caused her to travel mentally back in time. River Wow seems to be an example of what could go wrong in Augustine's viewpoint of time. Her sensation seems to be stuck in the recall of the memory, and while she continues to get older, through time, she is still mentally stuck in the past. When time travel and other theories of time are often portrayed in media, it often falls short of its intended impact, meaning it does not utilize the awesome setting to its fullest potential. To the moon, it's not one of those pieces of media. It uses its structure of time as both a medium to tell its story as well as an innovative way to showcase this topic. But of course, that's just one way of thinking about it. If you have another way, put it in the comment section below and start a discussion. Want to see more videos like this? Like and subscribe. This has been Derek from Entertainment Stew, signing off.